Do you boys want a God Squad, but you don't necessarily have the stubs to do it, and you want to make it to the big stage of World Series? Well, boys, I got you. Today, we're going to be talking about the budget beasts of MLB The Show 23. Now, what budget beasts are cheap cards in the market that play just as good as some of the top tier cards that are going for about 300,000 stubs or even some of those collection rewards? They're the next best thing that you guys can end up using that sometimes are even better than a lot of the main tier cards and you might not even know who they are. So we're gonna be going over those today and before we get into it, if you guys don't mind hitting that like and sub button, we're on the road to 10K and let's get right into the video. Before we start our top 10 list, I have a couple of honorable mentions. Now some of these are free cards and some of these are cards that you expect. I didn't include Otani, but Otani is really good. My honorable mentions for today are Camilo Duvall. This card is absolutely disgusting. He throws really good and he has, he's been throw, playing the event on like, all-star difficulty, so that's why he has an inflated ERA, but he has done really good on my squad. And then we've got Madison Bumgarner, who's on my honorable mentions. This guy has been pretty decent. I haven't used him that much in other, anything other than co-op ranked. That's why he his stats aren't showing, but he's pretty good. 104 hits per nine. He's gross. And then I've got Wayno. I think Wayno's really good this year. I think he's definitely underrated. 115 stamina, 87 hits or nine. What's so good about Wayno is he just has really good control and he has a really good pitch mix. And so I love pitching with this card. So I made him an honorable mention. At the number 10 spot today for some of the best cards you can end up getting on the market for roughly around 15K, number 10 spot goes to Gary Sanchez. Now, this Gary Sanchez card might not absolutely jump at you, but when you understand how good Gary Sanchez's swing is, you can understand that this card's probably pretty gross. 113, 110 pop on both sides. I love his cards every year. If you don't know, he has a really amazing swing and 80 contact on both sides once you get him paralleled up isn't that bad. His clutch at 85 too, so it's manageable, but that's why he has at the 10 spot. He's not perfect, but he's a really good budget beast that you can get for 16,700 stubs on the market right now. At the number nine spot today, we got Gio Urshela. Now, Gio Urshela is a really good contact bat. He's not going to absolutely blow you away, but he pretty much does every facet of the game really good, which is awesome for a third baseman. He gets up to 90 fielding once you parallel him to parallel four, and he's got really good contact and power stats. This card will actually amaze you. He's pretty good. I've got him in some battle royale runs, and he is disgusting. 110, 114, good power, good swing. Gio Urshela makes the nine spot. He's a great card if you need a third baseman on a budget. He also can end up playing shortstop and second base, so if you need a middle infielder, he can be your guy. At the number eight spot today, we have our first reliever of the day, and it's going to be none other than Diego Castillo. Now, what's so good about Diego Castillo is 116 hits per nine on week one. 116 hits per nine, he throws cheddar. He has outlier, an outlier sinker that's just, it's gas. If you know anything about these cards, man, it just jumps off. The 123 pitching clutch, uh, the Ks per nine, this card has pretty good control and disgusting stuff, which makes him a great bullpen piece for almost about 18,000 stubs. Diego Castillo is a dog and he comes in at the A spot. At the number seven spot today, we actually have somebody who makes my God squad and that's how much I love this card. And this is Jung Ho Lee. You can end up picking this card up for about 16K right now. Now, what's so good about Jung Ho Lee, five tool player. He has really good contact. He has really good power. He's a left-handed bat in my lineup, which I love. 104 clutch, so he's good in clutch situations with guys on scoring position. And I just, I love this card, man. He makes my God squad. He's in my left field right now, and he's definitely staying there for a little bit. He's going to be on the team that makes World Series for me. So this card's gross. I like him a lot. And for a day one left fielder, really, really good. At the number six spot today, we have a grind card, man. And I, this is probably the best pitcher in the group maybe but it we're going to team affinity and I know this is a grind card not a budget beast that you can buy on but oh my gosh this card is probably the best pitcher in the game I know I have him in the sixth spot but it's Dustin May sinker slurve cutter four seam circle change oh my gosh 106 hits per nine he's disgusting if you know anything about Dustin May cards you know that this card is disgusting uh, this this guy will be in my rotation for longer than a lot of dudes. He is going to absolutely be that man for me, and I cannot wait to pitch with him. 
but Dustin May makes that spot and he's at the sixth spot today. I love this card. There's a lot of Team Affinity cards that I'm leaving out, but just trust me, the reason why some of these cards are so high is because I love them and this is a card that will make my God Squad and I'm, I'm this close to getting him. I'm getting really close. At the number five spot today, we have a guy that has just been so good in Diamond Dynasty for a very long time, and it's Curtis Granderson, man. You just can't make one of these Budget Beast videos without putting Curtis Granderson. If you've ever played MLB The Show in the past, you know that this card just rakes. The stats aren't going to back me up, but trust me, it's just something about Curtis Granderson swings, man. It's something about him. He just, he rakes, man. He destroys baseballs. You get him in the XP reward path. If you're struggling with getting XP, make sure you guys check out my XP video. I will link it at the end of this video. But Curtis Granderson's just so good every year. At the beginning of the year, he just crushes. And I don't know how to explain it. He's just disgusting, and I recommend trying him out if you haven't already. At the number four spot today, we're starting to get guys that make my starting lineup. And we've got Eduardo Julian. This is the best WBC card in my opinion, I'm hitting 382 with him right now online. I don't know what it is, dude, but this card just mashes. He plays second base. He has good fielding over there. He he's just he's just good. He's just really good. He makes my god squad. And there's only one other middle infielder that I like maybe a little bit more than Julian, and we will talk about him at the later in this video. But Eduardo Julian is gross. You guys got to get him out of the WBC pack if you haven't already because he's amazing. If not, then you're missing out. At the number three spot today, we have the best purchasable budget B starting pitcher on the market right now. And in my opinion, that is Johnny Cueto. Now, what is so good about Cueto is the 100 hits per nine won't absolutely jump out about you. It's again, and you're starting to get a theme of this video. These are the guys that I just love in MLB The Show pitching with, and it's a little bit of my style, so I understand if you don't, but I love sinker cutter guys, and he is below the speed limit. Now, in my opinion, in MLB The Show, you can either be a guy who throws 102 or you throw 90. The guys that throw 90 often shove a lot more than the guys that throw 100, especially on lower difficulties because you'll get guys that are antsy. Plus, the pitches that are lower velocity usually end up moving more. So guys like Greg Maddox, Tom Glavin, and Johnny Cueto usually shove in MLB The Show. And that's why I love Cueto so much. I've really been thinking about buying this card because he is a budget beast. And we'll see if I end up doing it if I don't end up getting Dustin May. But if you need a starting pitcher on the market, pick up Johnny Cueto. He is gross. At the number two spot, we have a guy who's in my starting lineup. Man, I just love this dude to death. It is Kyle Schwarber. He's a 90 overall. He doesn't have stats that will absolutely blow your mind. But when you're hitting 366 with this guy and he hits absolute moonshot tanks, my camera's blocking this. He's got eight bombs and a 1400 OPS. He just hits homers, man. He hits homers. He is disgusting. Kyle Schwarber needs to be in your guys' lineup in the DH spot. Now, I don't know if this card will play on Hall of Fame and Legend, but these lower difficulties, man, Schwarber's my best hitter, and it's not even close. And at the number one spot in the Budget Beast video, man, I feel like just so many people are sleeping on this card. It is Robinson Cano. He is so good. He is so good. 114.91. But he's got a juicy swing, 98, 96. You get this guy parallel, he's 100 on lefty on lefties, and he is, is disgusting versus righties. He plays second base for you, have gold defense over there. And if you know anything about MLB The Show, Robinson Cano swings are just disgusting. As always, in these type of videos, I usually have a bunch of people in the comment section talk about some of their budget beasts that have been really good. So if there's someone that I left out that you guys really like, make sure you guys put them in the comment section down below as it can help some of these guys who need some really good cards for cheap. But these are 10 of the best cards that I think you guys should get if you don't have a ton of stubs. I think that this helps a ton. I love doing these types of videos and these usually do pretty well. But if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section section below. I will try to respond to every single one. I'll talk to you boys later. Make sure you guys sub if you haven't already and peace.